Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to demonstrate how C++ connect to database. We are going to use MySQL database as an example, which it is also one of the most popular used database. We are going to create a program called MySQL CONN mysql connection.cpp here is the template we have we just have a include a header file and we have main we might try and under between the bracket of try we're going to do something connect to mysql and if something wrong we catch the exception and we print out what's wrong with connection here most important is line three we must include mysql slash jdbc.h in older version of uh, we have to include the individual header file okay mysql underscore connection dot h driver dot h exception dot h result set dot h and the statement dot h but in the new version and um, this jdbc dot h include everything we needed so we don't need to include individually this one include everything for connection to my CQL. and now we're starting to see what we're going to do first we have to declare some pointer and the first is the driver and i gave name called my my driver and the second we have to declare called a connection which I call the star my C O N this is the pointer. So the after connection we need a, another object that called the my statement. I call the my stmt. The last one is the result set, which after I made the query, I go into the result set, which going to call the my res. Okay, so first we have to do, we have to have a driver called my driver. Where you can create driver instance which this is my driver after we had a driver we have to say my connection where equal my driver connect which we have to have a connect string in my Linux I installed my connect string where be tch tcp it's localhost 127.0.0.1 and the second parameter are going to be the login which I have created login called the test and the third parameter is the password i created my test uh, database password is xx after we get this one and uh, we can just we need uh, to connect to one of schema so my connection side schema and uh, on the database i will create a schema called the test so after we get a connect to the database and uh, connect to the set the schema we need to create a statement so okay my statement are equal my connection create a statement which means we have to put this and uh, after we have a statement 
bacon. Here we have something wrong. Star. So we have to say my result set after we run this statement equal my statement what's with the ex execute query so what what query we are going to execute we just execute size -E -E uh -E hello world Uh, we assign to variable as message and we execute that so then the result should be getting into my result set so we're going to use a loop Just set next is not empty What we're going to do, we're going to just uh, print out std say out. What we're going to say out is my result set get string. line so what stream we're going to get we're going to this stream we're going to get okay finish the loop we just uh, delete just uh, delete my result set delete my my connection then we finish our program to see we just uh, get a connect to the database set a schema which is schema the test and after we get the connector we create a statement and we run a query. The query is a select C R E C T select a hello world uh, assigned to the variable called the message, and then we just uh, print out what we select is hello world. So and then after that we delete this object of my rest result set statement my connection. So let's save this and uh, let's make it make see how it's going okay so now we got them our executable which is which is this one before we running this we go to another terminal let's say so let's see what's the status of my secure database So here, look, say my SQL database, my SQL server is running active. So that's great. So let's run. So let's run. So you see, we start to connect to the my SQL database, and then we got a hello world. So yes, let's check if we we stop our data. My SQL Server stop. Let's see. So you can see right now my SQL database is dead, it's inactive. So let's try to see. So now we got a field because we do the connection. Connection to my SQL unable to connect because 
our database stopped. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks for watching my video. Hope it's enjoyable and useful. It's going to be great to have your feedback.